friends, I'm so excited to be bringing y'all along for a fun, cozy fall day in our lives. Dom and I just got to the farmer's market here in Austin and I'm so excited. It has been so long since we have been to the farmer's market. I feel like that is just like the perfect fall activity. So we're doing that to start to kind of kick off our fall day. So we're gonna head over to the farmer's market, maybe look for like some meat, some produce, some eggs just like see what is new because we haven't been here in such a long time and the farmers market in Austin is really cool too because they have a ton of like vendors with both like skincare like body goods all of that and then also a lot of like restaurants and places have pop-ups at the farmers market so I feel like it's gonna be really fun to explore and see what they have and then I think we're gonna head to the library also haven't been to the library in such a like long time but I've been needing to get a library card for the longest time so that's on our list might head to like world market maybe Trader Joe's probably a bookstore too because why not but I just feel like it's gonna be a really fun cozy fall day and I'm so excited to bring you all along if you're new here my name is Molly I'm a content creator here in Austin Texas I talk all about running over on my Instagram but here on YouTube I talk about all the things that I love from living life in Austin to more running reading Disney all the things so if that is your cup of tea I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up but I'm just so grateful you're here and can't wait to head out on such a fun fall day Just got to Barnes and Noble. We ended up eating lunch at the farmer's market. I think I showed that, but we got pierogies and some like pork dumplings. They were both so good. And then we had to end up running home just to drop like the meat and the pesto and everything we got. I saw a video the other day of literally the most delicious looking sandwich. And they were like, the key to a good sandwich is the good bread. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So I was inspired. We got that bread, got some like pesto, like basil sauce or spread for it. It's gonna be so good. So sometime either tonight or later this week, we are going to be making some delicious sandwiches and I can't wait. But we just got to Barnes and Noble and like I mentioned, we're gonna go to the library later. So I'm gonna try and practice some self-control. I always have to practice self-control at Barnes and Noble, but especially because I know we're gonna be going to the library and it's gonna be fun to look around and see what they have. And then I also still have like five books from our most recent trip here that I haven't had a chance to read yet. So we'll see. We'll see what actually happens. I don't know if y'all have seen those videos where it's like you interview someone before they go somewhere somewhere where they're obviously going to spend money and they're like, hi, I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm going to spend zero dollars. And then afterwards they're like interviewed again and they're like, oh, spent like a thousand dollars or whatever. But I feel like that's me. I'm Molly. I'm going to spend zero dollars at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I do have a few books that I am looking for. I have really been into, if you watched my last like reading vlog, I've been really into the Disney Twisted Tales and like the villain series. So I definitely want to see if they have any more of those. And then I don't have any like fall-ish books. I guess some of the ones I got last time like could be like cozy fall vibes. But yeah, if there are any like new books that I see that just like give cozy fall vibes, I probably will want a few of those. So let's go see what trouble we get ourselves into here.
perfect and we are headed into the library. I'm reminded why I never come and why I have procrastinated getting my library card and that is because parking here is so crazy. We're going to like the main library I guess like the main like campus or location it's the one in downtown it's beautiful it is seriously so pretty however the parking is absolutely insane we spent like literally 30 minutes trying to find parking and still ended up in a really expensive garage so it is what it is we are planning on like obviously getting the library card and hopefully reading here too because they have a really cool like rooftop like it is seriously such a cool location so if you're in Austin I would definitely say check it out however just be Full warned that you might end maybe up Uber. paying yeah maybe uber you're probably gonna spend at least like ten dollars on parking but yeah i'm super excited i don't i haven't filled anything out for like a library card so hopefully i didn't need to do something ahead of time but yeah we're gonna get the card and then kind of see what all they have and like i said hopefully you read on the rooftop this is how it is in every library or just this one but they aren't separated by genres which is kind of makes it like a little bit difficult to find but they have just like this entire floor is pretty much fiction and so I screenshotted or I took photos of a bunch of the books at Barnes & Noble that I was interested in but when I looked up reviews they were like around three stars which usually if I buy a book is because I like know I'm going to love it so I've already looked up like a couple books and they have all of them here so I think I'm gonna go on a little hunt and try to find some of these books that genuinely looked so good at Barnes & Noble but I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on books that I might not end up loving. what I got and we're filming on the really cool like rooftop space which is why I'm kind of quiet um, but I got one of the ones that I saw at Barnes & Noble that I really wanted to buy I told you about that and then I ended up seeing that it only had like 3.2 stars and I don't know let me know how you guys decide whether or not you're gonna read a book or not but honestly if anything's rated like 3.5 or lower I usually end up passing on it I don't know if that's bad but it sounds really good so I'm really excited about it it's called the Titanic Survivors book club i'm so excited they have it because it was up at the front of barnes and noble as like a new release so i don't know if it's actually a new release or not but i'm really excited about that one and then i was just walking by and the cover of this one caught my eye it's called mr perfect on paper and it sounds really similar to a book i read at the end of last year called lunar love where she's like a matchmaker like her job is setting people up but of course she is single and lonely and then it sounds like her dating love life like her story makes it onto the news and then it becomes like a reality tv show of her trying to find love so so i thought that sounded really good and then i actually can't remember if i read any of sally hepworth's books before i feel like i just maybe read one of hers i can't remember um but i saw Dar darling girls they had a really big selection of all of her books but that one it just looked the best and found the best i kind of there were so many i kind of just like grabbed one and read what that one is about and decided to go for it. So I have three books, y'all. Little library haul, I'm so excited.
wanted to show you guys the books that I ended up getting at Barnes and Noble because I just couldn't go and not get any. I told y'all before that I have been looking forward to getting a few more of the books and just like the Disney series that I have been reading. And I also wanted to talk about that a little bit because I feel like, especially with like book talk and booktubers being super, like I just feel like books and reading has like exploded in the past few years and I'm so glad it has because reading is genuinely one of my favorite hobbies that I have. However, I feel like with like the popularity of certain books and series and just like seeing what a lot of people are reading, I feel like sometimes there's a lot of pressure to read like a specific type of book or a specific genre or something like that. And maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm like completely wrong with this, but yeah, I just wanna give the reminder that you should be reading what you want to read. You don't have to read the books that are super popular. You don't have to read something if you don't enjoy it. Like if you don't enjoy super spicy romance books, you don't have to read that. Like no one is making you read that. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it's always good to like remind you like you should be reading for yourself and not just reading something just because it's popular i think it's great to try something out if you haven't tried it like a genre or if a book is popular and see if you like it but there's no pressure to read specific books and i feel like reading graphic novels earlier this year really helped me to kind of like break away from like not that i i don't ever really read books because i feel like it's popular or like i feel like i should however i felt like in my head i was like oh will you like young adult, you shouldn't be reading that because you're not, you're definitely not a young adult anymore. And just like these like things in my head that I was like, oh, well, I shouldn't even go into that section because like, I'm not a young adult. I'm not gonna like that. Like, oh, graphic no novels, like that's too childish or whatever. So I feel like reading the graphic novels earlier helped me to kind of break away, away from this like should and shouldn't. And that's what allowed me to like get into the Disney books, which I know are not for everyone, but I feel like everyone can resonate with like, you should just read what you enjoy. So I will get off of that little tangent right there and show you all the books that I got. And I won't talk about them for too long because I know that books about like Disney stuff isn't something that everyone is interested in. But I got another one of the Twisted Tales, which if you watch that vlog, you know, I am just absolutely obsessed. They are so much fun. And then I saw this Haunted Mansion one, which I felt like was perfect for a spooky, cozy fall read. So I'm really excited about this one. It looks really, really fun. And then I just got one other kind of like the Twisted Tale, except for it's more so just like the perspective of the prince and like like what if his story was different so I feel like that's gonna be really fun and I love Little Mermaid so that'll be great and then this last one I actually don't even think it has like officially come out yet because I was looking on Amazon and it still had only had the option to pre-order so I don't know if Barnes & Noble just like had it available early but I read Jason Rakulak's other book earlier this year I know a couple of y'all went and read it after I mentioned it it was Hidden Pictures genuinely one of my favorite thrillers I have read all year it is so like creepy and unsettling <laughs> it was so good so i saw this one up near the front and i was like a hundred percent i need to get this one so it's called the last one at the wedding i'm so excited i haven't because i've been reading the disney books for like this past month i haven't really read a thriller in a minute so i might take a break from all of the other books i've been reading and read this one i'm so excited and one other thing i really wanted to make sure i got to was decorating my kindle for fall so if you have seen i'll put a photo here because my kindle actually hasn't been decorated for a minute because I've been using this Kindle cover which I really really love it's like magnetic but in shocking for how many books I buy that I actually do still read books on my Kindle and especially now that I have my library card one of the main reasons I wanted it was to start like using Libby again and renting like e-readers so I'm so excited about that I think that is going to be a big game changer for me but I'll just say I love my Kindle. I feel like I just haven't been reading it in like the past month because I've just been buying a lot of books, but I got some like fun fall stickers to decorate it. And like I said, I'll put in a photo of how it was decorated in the past with all the stickers. And yeah, I think it'll be fun to have a little like fall theme. So let's go ahead and decorate her with all of the stickers that I got.
obsessed. The green and the brown, I definitely could have done a better job with the paper, but I actually kind of like it because I do really love that the back of the Kindle is green. Like I specifically bought it because I love the green, but I thought the brown was a fun little touch for fall. Y'all, I'm literally obsessed. This is so cute. Unfortunately, I didn't, I wasn't able to fit all of the stickers that I bought, which, you know, some of them were very large, so it makes sense, but I literally love it so much. So I definitely need to start running books from the library to have on my Kindle. I literally just think this is so cozy and so fun. Honestly, I'll probably redecorate it. Actually, maybe not, but I was gonna say I might redecorate it again for like Christmas time. And then again, for something in the new year, I love stickers. If you do not know that about me, I've loved stickers since I was a little kid. So obviously I still love them as an adult and just using them on my Kindle is so much fun. This combo from Trader Joe's of the Zuquette pasta and whatever the like autumnal pasta sauce is. I don't even know what it's called, but usually it's on display at Trader Joe's. It is genuinely the best. We look forward to it every single year. We've never made it with like the ground beef, but I'm sure it is great. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog. We're gonna eat dinner, probably going to walk tonight, and then gonna try and finish my book. I'm about halfway, so. If I can have like a couple hours to read, I should probably be good and able to finish it. But I had so much fun bringing you guys along for the day. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this got you in the cozy fall spirit. It definitely put me in more of a fall mood, even though it's literally like 90 degrees still. But yeah, I just appreciate y'all for being here. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.